Max here, and I hear you want to learn Premiere Pro. So the first thing we see with a new project is this. Title your project, choose the location, and click OK. So now you'll see something like this. If you don't, go to Window, Workspaces, and Assembly to see mine. Now I want to drag in media into my project. So I'll highlight all my media that I want to drag in, and I'll drag it into the project bin. And to create a sequence to create a new movie, click this new button right here, click Sequence. I typically choose Digital SLR 1080p at 30 frames a second. We can call this My Movie. Now I'll drag my footage into the timeline, and I'll drag in my audio. We'll zoom in on our timeline using this bar down here. We want to shorten these clips. Click the the cut tool or the razor tool or C on your keyboard and then we'll cut this clip in half and click V on our keyboard or the pointer tool. Click this, click delete, this, click delete. Now I want to grab this footage and move it right here to reorganize it and move this footage to the end. And another way I can do it is actually putting the footage on top on this layer and scooting it back. We can cut our audio as well, hover over the end to stretch it out some, highlight all the footage, move it down so we can create intro and outro titles, but we want the audio to fade in. So what we'll do is right click the ends of the audio and do apply default transition. You can also do this to footage. So now they actually fade in. Now we'll add text on screen for a title and an end card. Click the text tool right here, type tool, click on screen and type my movie. But now we want to use effect controls to change where this actual text is on screen. So go to window, and effect controls, and it shows all these different controls to change our effects. We'll move it to the middle of the screen right here by using the position tag and hitting reset. You can also use this to actually move the text around. This also works for footage. We could use the scale option to move it up and down or something like the rotation tool to rotate our footage. We can use the text tool again or we can copy and paste this footage to put it at the end. We will click the footage and use the Lumetri color panel to actually increase the exposure, the saturation, and feel free to play with the other options to see what they do. Now we're ready to export my movie. Click your timeline right here, go to File, Export, Media, choose your format to H.264, click on the blue text for output name, which will allow you to save the file in a certain location, and then you're ready to click Export to export your video. That was Premiere Pro in around two minutes. Now, clearly I can't go over everything, but this should give you a jump start to editing videos if you've never used Premiere Pro before. As always, I'm Max. Thanks for watching this video and uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace.